As the nature of terrorist threats changed, it became apparent that a terrorism insurance gap had emerged. Attacks often caused no property damage to businesses, but still resulted in significant financial losses. Pool reinsurance provides protection for the UK economy and underwrites over £2 trillion of exposure to terrorism risk. Sharon Thomas has more. On June the 3rd, 2017, the London Bridge terror attack shocked the world. A van was deliberately driven into pedestrians. Its occupants then stabbed people at random in nearby Borough Market. Eight people died. The police cordon was in place here for 10 days after the attack. More than 150 traders were denied access during that time and suffered a huge loss in footfall. Collectively, it cost them nearly one and a half million pounds in business losses. Although many here had insurance, most policies would have excluded acts of terrorism. Paul Bradbury has been running a cured meat stall here since 2012. He vividly remembers that horrific night and the subsequent toll it took on his business. It was a terrible evening. We didn't really know what was going on at that time. Um, we had to find out if the staff were OK, because some of them were here, obviously, of an evening they were out with their friends. But then the knock-on impact of that, we were then shut as a business. Um, we didn't know how long we were going to be shut. I think it cost us about 28k. If we had a, a loss in one of these areas here, say Zone A, what would the likely impact? Paul Ree was founded in 1993 after the Bishopsgate bombing. The company ensures that terrorism insurance is available to all UK businesses, not just those who may be a direct target, but any business subsequently affected. The role of poor reinsurance is very important. It's there to ensure economic resilience, if you like, to ensure that in the aftermath of a terrorist attack, UK businesses can be up and running as quickly as possible. Uh, but also to ensure that they can mitigate the impact of a terrorism attack by either making sure it doesn't happen in the first place, by preventative measures that they can take, or if it does happen, that the impact of those losses uh, is minimised. Part of the company's remit is research into terrorism. They have a role in analysing the terror threat to the UK and provide information to their 200 insurance company members so businesses understand the threat and take appropriate action. Terrorism is a threat that's constantly changing and evolving. The role that we play within the organisation is to provide advice and information to our members, but also to the wider business community so that they can better prepare for and mitigate against terrorist attacks. We work with a range of government departments, academic institutions and industry experts to better understand the contemporary threat. The London Bridge attack was an example of how terrorism is constantly changing and it's a threat that we have to be on top of all the time. Educating businesses is essential, from understanding what cover is available to ensuring it's the correct cover for all eventualities, particularly now that the terror threat spreads far beyond our major cities. How important is it for small businesses to insure against terrorism? I think it's really important because the threat of terrorism is persistent, it isn't going to go away, and more importantly, it's not just about London. A terrorist attack could take place anywhere in the country, in any city or town. And if you're an SME, a small business, you're just as likely to be impacted by the, a, a terrorist incident uh, because of the effect of the cordon, which may be thrown up around. That could be a week, two weeks. And the losses which you will incur as a business, if you're not covered by insurance, could be really, really damaging to your long-term future. Although the customers are returning, Paul's finances haven't fully recovered from the attack. The lesson learned here is that it's not just about cover for physical damage, but business interruption. So do you now have terrorism cover in place? Yes, we absolutely do. It's very important for us as a business, especially with where we trade. Um, it, it nearly took us under last time. It was a, a real challenge um, and it's uh, important to talk to your broker about it. We, we initially talked to our broker and she was like, no, you're not covered. And we were surprised about that. Um, it's, so it's, it's critical, I think, especially if you're small, we, you can't weather the cash flow of it. Paul Ree has worked for a change in the law to ensure that all businesses can access affordable cover, therefore increasing their own resilience and that of our economy as a whole.